Well, um, Liza's the old pro, and I'm just the upstart. Mm -hmm. Top of that, she's, uh, she's in very good with the boss. Oh, she can't count on Adam. He has no loyalties. Except the blondes. Yeah, it's, third, it's his third wife and counting, you know? Well, she's not exactly in the running. Maybe not for the next Mrs. Chandler, but th there are other lesser positions to fill. Well, Adam's still in love with Brooke, isn't he? Well, love is one thing, and chemistry is another. And believe me, Liza knows how to work what she's got. Oh, come on. Nobody works, Adam. Don't kid yourself. You know, fawning glances can be very powerful things. Are you trying to suggest that Liza... He's trying to seduce Adam in order to keep her job? Punctual, as always. Your account's in overdraft. I beg your pardon? I gave you your media facelift. If you've come here looking for favors, I'm all tapped out. How long did you think you were going to milk this? As long as you have access to what I want. I run a show. Not a publicity empire. If you're looking for a new image, you can no, simply... No, 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 not my image. Let's not worry about my image for now. I want a medium that's on Erica's husband. Good night. Good night. You know, when my daughter couldn't get to sleep, I used to tell her a bedtime story. Castles and kings. You know the turf. Guess there's not much you haven't heard, huh? I don't need a story. <laughs> Good. Because you know the prince on the white stallion? The one who fixes your life, who loves you no matter what? Well... In reality, it's usually a cranky ex-husband with a list of gripes as long as your arm. So, Dimitri blows off family week. Don't worry about it, hon. Families are grossly overrated, especially when men are involved. Can we not talk about this? Sweet dreams, Erica. Dreams you can go back and do over. Oh, I've been out of town a lot. <laughs> well, she's not in coach. Uh, Mateo, were you supposed to meet her? Uh, please take your seat for takeoff, um, sir. Hi. Listen, um, I'm on the wrong flight. Well, show me your ticket. I, I, I made a mistake. Oh, no, you're booked on this flight. Okay. Well, I have to get off, okay? Are you ill? This is an emergency. Well, I'm very sorry, sir. No, listen, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is life and death. This plane cannot take off. You keep talking about what's coming. What is coming? I can't say for sure. I... I only see... What's wrong? Please. What's gonna happen? Corinne, what do you see? There's a darkness. What does that mean? Something evil. What? Like a hex? Water. You must watch out for water. Water's unlucky for you.
Watch out for water. That's like saying, watch out for air, Corinne. The planet is covered in water. Is it water you drink? I'm not sure. Well, are you saying is water that may do you sick? Can you can you tune it in a little better? We'll just stick to seltzer. Heck, Chardonnay. There must be wine bars out there in the bush, huh, Corinne? A musket. No, it's an old-fashioned gun. An old-fashioned gun. All right, just, just uh, let me understand. Wh where is this coming from? Uh, do you have voices? What? Sometimes voices, sometimes dreams, or an image that flashes and fades. Uh, there's something dangerous around water, and something about an old-fashioned gun. Okay. Are we talking about the Atlantic Ocean? A bathtub? A, a cup of tea? It doesn't work like that. How do we know it works at all? Lila. Lila was sick once, and we all wanted to know what was wrong with her, so I concentrated as hard as I could. But all I could get was a man in a canoe. That proves my point. No, this man, we knew him. He was a fisherman by the name of John. John in a canoe, over and over. And Lila's illness still wouldn't lift. October, November, December. Finally, the holiday came. She woke up completely cured. She went to town to see the parade. Okay, so Lila got better for Christmas, but what is no. that supposed to prove? Not Christmas. An old island custom. The Feast of John Canoe. God help me. Okay, so water and an old musket, is, is that all you get? And a lot of fear, like, like a knot right here. Are you sure it's not you having an anxiety attack? No, it's connected to you. Well, you're harboring two fugitives. That's got to be very stressful. The danger isn't to me. Well, we're on an island, surrounded by water. We're in danger all the time. And she almost drowned already. You know, maybe, maybe the danger's passed. Yeah. This hasn't happened yet. It's coming. Okay, so, so what are we supposed to do? Corinne, eliminate water from our lives? I can't protect you from the future, but I can prepare you to face it. Now, if you don't let me help you, I... <sighs> well, now she's mad. Well, yeah, and probably a little bit crazy, too. I don't know. I, I, I think she's on our side. Why not trust her? I don't know. Look at it this way. Who else we got? Snake oil and bongo berries. And, oh, I'm sorry. It just freaks me out. Visions and, and voices. It's just so strange. Yeah, me too. But well, her vision's been right so far. What do we really know about her, Noah? Well, we know she could have turned us in, and she didn't. Oh, what else we need to know? She never explained what she was doing on that freighter. She never even admitted she was there. We saw her. We thought she was dead. Uh, she was dead. And did we ever get an explanation on that? No. Julia, she, she called a pregnancy, right? That could have been a lucky guess. Yeah, it could have been, but... I don't know why she would jerk us around, Julia. What would she gain? Please return to your seat, no, sir. You don't understand. I have to catch up with a woman who's supposed to be on this flight. Well, you can page her from the travel. No, no, I can't do it on the phone. I've got to, I've got to be there, okay? Every minute counts. It's too late. What do you mean it's too late? We're still on the ground. We will be leaving. We will be taking off in a matter of... Ladies and uh, gentlemen, thank you for flying Global Airlines Flight 188, nonstop to Los Angeles. I gotta go. Uh, if you don't return to your seat, I will be forced to call the airport police. Really? Good. Call them. I need to get off this flight. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. Excuse me for just a second. Ah, very sorry for the disturbance, sir. No, it's no problem. My name is Dimitri Merrick. Please, will you tell her I'm not crazy? I, I know this young man. Yeah, listen, I can't go to California and back. I don't have ten hours to waste. Please encourage him to return to his seat. Thank you. All right, what is going on? Listen, Taylor's after Julia, okay? And she's got a gun. And she's lost it. But Taylor, Taylor is on official police business. Wrong. She got kicked off the force. She, she's fired. 
I understand we have a problem here? Yes, I've got to get off this flight right now. Uh, Captain, my name is Dimitri Merrick. I can vouch for this man. He's a relative. His name is Mateo Santos. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Merrick, but FAA regulations... No, no, listen, someone could die, all right? Did you hear me? Die. If he says it's a crisis, it is. Now, I will take full responsibility for any inconvenience that results. All right. But let's make this fast. Yes, thank, thank you, you, Captain. How can I thank you? Yeah, it's all right. Just go find Julia and take care of her. Okay, thanks. Do you live in Miami? I'm here on business. Police business? That's what I do. Honey, don't talk the lady to death. That is okay. I adore children. I plan on having a whole house full of them myself. Are you married? Soon. Congratulations. Thank you. We are very happy. Do you have a real gun? I have to. You see people? Only when I really have to. And then it's only the bad guys and bad little girls. I like Corinne. She's been wonderful to us. It just... All this weirdness creeps me out. Well, listen, didn't you ever visit a fortune teller when you were a kid? Doomsayer's more like it. All of her predictions are so grim. I mean, maybe I just don't want to believe what she says. If I did, I think I'd be scared out of my mind. I'm scared out of my mind. You're sick and nobody else seems to know what's wrong with you. Do me a favor. What? Well, next time we stow away on a mystery ship, can we make it a luxury liner? You're feeling worse, aren't you? Uh, I'll be okay. Well, I don't want to wait and see. We got to do something now. I can't. I can't bear the thought of you being sick. 